collection of documents, both PDFs and non-PDFs, which I'd like to combine into a group of associated documents that includes a table of contents. How can I do that using PDF Docs? Using PDF Docs, we can create binder projects that let us collate PDF and non-PDF documents into a single or multiple document binder project, add individual files or folders from our computer, automatically generate a table of contents, assign a cover page from within the binder, and configure options and settings unique to and portable with each binder project. To create a binder project from within PDF Docs, we'll click the File tab on the ribbon. Then we'll click the New button. Now we'll click the Binder button. In the next screen, we'll type a name for the binder project in the Name box. Next, we'll click the Create Project button. The new binder project window opens. To add items to the binder, we'll click the Add Item button. In this scenario, we want to add a folder saved on our computer, so we'll click the My Computer option. To add the contents of an Explorer folder, we would click the Explore Folder option. To add the contents of an Explorer folder and its subfolders, we would click the Explorer Folder Include Subfolders option. To add an Explorer document, we would click the Explorer document option. Here, we'll click the Explore folder option. Now we'll click the OK button. The Browse for Folder dialog box opens. In the next screen, we'll browse for and select a folder to be added. Now we'll click the OK button. The folder is added to the binder project. To create a new folder in the binder project, We'll click the Add Item button. We'll click the New Folder option. The new folder is added to the binder project. In the next screen, we'll type a name for the new folder. To add a document to the new folder, we'll right click the folder to display the shortcut menu. Notice the options available on the shortcut menu. Here we'll click the Add Item command. Then we'll click the My Computer option. Here we want to add a single Explorer document, so we'll click the Explorer document option. Now we'll click the OK button. In the next screen, we'll browse for and select the document to be added. Now we'll click the Open button. The document is added to the new folder in the navigation pane as well as the document grid. We have created a new binder project and added folders and documents to the project. Now it's your turn. From within PDF Docs, where would you click to create a new binder project? Which button would you click? Now which button would you click? In the next screen, we'll type a name for the binder project in the name box for you. Create the new project. The new binder project window opens. Where would you click to add folders or documents to the project? Which option would you click to add a folder saved on your computer? Which option would you click to add the contents of a single folder? Confirm your selection. The Browse for Folder dialog box opens. In the next screen, we'll browse for and select a folder to be added for you. Confirm your selection. The folder is added to the binder project. Where would you click to create a new folder in the project? Which option would you click? The new folder is added to the binder project. In the next screen, we'll type a name for the new folder. How would you display the shortcut menu for the selected folder? Which command would you click to add a document to the selected folder? Which option would you click? Where would you click to add a single document saved on your computer? Confirm your selection. In the next screen, we'll browse for and select the document to be added to the binder project for you. Open the selected document. The document is added to the new folder in the navigation pane as well as the document grid. You have created a new binder project and added folders and documents to the project. 